Throughout my entire life, I was never really sure of what to do with my hair. When I was really, really young and quite stupid, I used to literally do nothing with my hair. <laughs> the only thing I did was let my barber fuck me up once every two weeks, which then led me to look like this for a big chunk of my life. Then I decided to kind of grow out my hair, specifically because that was during the pandemic and all of the barbers were closed at that time. And at one time, I decided my my dad decided to cut my hair. So I just sat down in this chair in the kitchen, like I specifically remember this shit, in the kitchen right in front of a mirror. My dad gave me some towels to cover up, uh, you know, to, to not get hair all over my body and stuff. So just covered up with a towel, holding onto it for my dear life, expecting the worst possible thing to happen. Scared that my dad will do the most unimaginable. And next thing you know, he forgot to check changed the little setting on the razor and went like he fucked me up so bad bro literally went like and left a bald spot on my head that was there for literally like three weeks for three weeks straight i literally had like a bald trail at the back of my head over here you could literally park a car inside that shit no joke and so there was this like mirror right in front of us right and i swear the look on my dad's face literally made me tear up sitting there and crying like a motherfucker anyways as my hair grew out and the bald spot disappeared, I decided like, fuck it, you know, it's the pandemic, <laughs> I don't want my dad to fuck me up once again, I decided to grow it out even more. Which actually was one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life. Turns out my hair is naturally curly if it's long enough. You know, I've always had a very kind of short haircut, which led my hair to be very flat and without any volume. Once I grew it out a bit more, the the hair started to curl, like twist on the ends, which obviously looks much better. Like I just said, fuck it, let's just grow, grow, grow my hair out during the whole pandemic because I was literally traumatized from the razor incident. So I grew it out, took some better care of my hair, which I'm going to explain later on in this video, and noticed that my hair actually had the potential, like always had the potential to look so good, but I just wasn't, wasn't paying attention. So I went from having this pussy denier haircut to finally looking quite good, at least in my opinion. But the story doesn't end there. Fast forward about two years. I grew it to the point where it literally was like this long. I had like an afro, which again made me look like a pussy denier. <laughs> I ain't even gonna hold you, bro. It made me look like I stink. And it's so funny, bro, because, bro, I swear, the moment I cut the hair and went back to this haircut, right? So I cut it, now it's like looking like this. The moment I cut the hair, literally the same week I cut my hair, I got two different girls wanted to speak to me. It was like, literally, they were, I don't know, maybe waiting for me to cut this shit out. I swear to God, maybe they were, I don't fucking know. <laughs> Either way, I finally got to know what actually hairstyle suits me, what works works the best for me. This hairstyle gets the best results. I guess you can say that. Is it weird to say that? It is, kind of. So now let's teach you how you can also get to know what hairstyle suits you the most and how to manage it and style it in order to have like this effect of looking good throughout your whole life, in order to have strong, healthy looking hair. Today I will tell you exactly everything I know in terms of optimizing your hair in order for it to to look the best it can. Sometimes I really do feel like I can't even speak English. Was that even like properly, like gram grammatically? I don't fucking know. Tip number one is know your face shape. Now you might already have heard this advice before. For example, I get at least 10 comments a day, uh, people telling me that I look like Henry, Henry Cal Cavill, Carville? this Superman dude from Hollywood. <laughs> Looking at other people's faces work, but it's best to get you an up that will do it for you it's completely for free and i am not associated with them at all i downloaded an app bro i don't even what was that called wait i think
think its name was High Face, Face Shape Detector. I don't know, just search, search for an app that has a face shape in its name. <laughs> Sorry. So I downloaded the app, it told me that I have a square face, right? And I think it's actually pretty precise. Then what it's going to do is it will select you a hairstyle based on your face shape. So the hairstyle that suits your face shape, so for example my square ass head, the best. The thing is everybody's different in terms of looks, so doing only that is not enough to get it to the top echelon of beauty that you can achieve. <laughs> Bro, that shit sounds so corny. So let's keep going with this video. The next step that you have to take is know your hair type. I got somewhere around 2B, I guess, like 2B hair type. 1A is very straight and like, and 4C is like very, very like dark skin curly. And obviously not every hairstyle suits my hair type. A hairstyle that would suit and look very good on me might be very, might look very terrible on your hair type. So yeah, get to find out your face shape and your hair type to, you know, identify your looks or some bullshit like that. We are trying to get some look optimization tips today. So yeah, do that. So the third part of today's video, I'm going to tell you some actual tips for still stylization, stylization and your hair looks. Never not style, never not style your hair. An exception is obviously if they are very short so you can't even style them. And another tip is to never use water when styling it. Use a product like a cream or a gel. I use this one cream that I don't really want to show you right now because it's in the bathroom. Maybe I will put up a picture of it right here. And another tip is never, and I say never, go to sleep with damp or wet hair. A crucial mistake I actually used to do which led me to look very bad. It led to my hair look terrible all day. It will really dry up your hair and make it look so unnaturally like unhealthy, you know? And another tip that some of you might really say that is kind of bullshit or just disagree with me on this, wash your hair not more than like three times a week. That's what uh, I found that personally works best for me and for my hair type. For your hair type, you might want to wash it, I don't know, maybe four times or five times a week. Just try to find yourself something that works the best for you because everyone is different. Actually, I'm not quite satisfied with this video because I didn't really give you like so much knowledge in today's video but I'm pretty sure that with with only that you can get at least like a perspective a look on this topic which then can make you look very very good if you actually study it properly so that's pretty much it and stay abnormal <laughs>